All right. Um. So. <sighs> Devilman Crybaby. Um. So I just binge watched this entire thing. Um. I'm gonna try and review this without giving away any spoilers. Um. This, this, this anime is, um, it's a good anime, um, and I think for a 11 episode anime, it's, it's a great anime for that. It, it's, it's, the narrative flows smoothly, you know, there's not like any giant cuts or anything, um, it kind of runs together in a very fluid manner. To where all of the source material, all, all of the narrative gets its own uh, sections and piece in the anime. Um, and I, I think, look, there's something it really does really well. Um, so there's, uh, by George, there's a hell of a lot of mature content in it. Um, I'm not... Like, let me see if I can make a a good comparison. Uh, like uh, before, uh, let's let's compare Western media to what I'm to to what so, uh, as an example. Like before the 1970s, PG R, all those things actually meant something. You you, you didn't get a PG 13 rating. Simply by saying a swear word or two. No, you, you, you got that. You, if you wanted that rating, you, you had to put some actual adult content in there. Um, versus like now where you say one extra curse word and you'll have that PG-13 rating immediately. Um, it, it kind of feels like that. This feels like a, uh... 1970s adult movie versus an adult movie today. That, that that's basically the equivalent of what this anime is. Um, it it it, it kind of puts to shame. Um, most of if not all of the 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 adult anime of this era. Um, it, it really does just. It, it goes back to a time. Where literally, um, there was just a completely different standard. Like, it goes over the top with the, the mature themes. Um, and I, I could see why it is because the whole, I, I mean, in the beginning, it kind of seems like unnecessary and gratuitous, but it really does. The, the, it's really required to, to ease you in to the... Uh, I'm laughing just thinking about this because it really does get really fucking bad um, at the end. So, uh, in the beginning, it seems way over-the-top gratuitous with, like, the nudity and the violence and shit. Um, but it... It gets so much worse. Um, it literally... It, it literally... Uh, it's... it's I, I think they put it throughout the entire series to ease you into just how bad it's gonna get on the last few episodes. Um, this, this, this anime, it doesn't pull any punches. Like, it doesn't go through any of those, like, cliche ex machina things. It literally, it, it commits to what it's doing in a scene. It, it's very realistic. Um, even the characters' reactions. Um, at one point, uh, a guy cries, um, over the, uh, decision over to whether or not to kill his son, um, because he's, he's basically turned into a monster. Um, and <laughs> this scene really stood out because it's, it literally does play out as if a father was trying to debate whether or not to shoot his son. It, it's like a two or three minute scene. And it's literally just him crying, collapsing to his knees, getting back up, crying again, pointing at the gun, saying, you're not my son, you're a monster now, not being able to pull the trigger, falling down, 
back to his knees. It's literally, I mean, he, he, you can literally read that he's in emotional turmoil trying, he wants to end the situation in front of him, but he cannot dissociate the fact that his son is uh, perhaps no longer actually his son. He, he can say that he's no longer his son, but he still feels like it's his son. And it just, it feels so incredibly real at points. Um, times like this, where I'm so incredibly glad I'm, I'm a psychopath. Um, because I, I didn't feel a thing through the entire movie. But holy shit, if I didn't have this ability to just turn off my emotions at will... Oh, this is gonna fucked me up. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of really hardcore shit. Um, uh, see, it's. Uh, I don't know if I can recommend it or not. Here, here's the thing. All right, it explores some really, really deep concepts about the nature of humanity and like crisis and hysteria and stuff, but. I, I I don't I don't know if the 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 actual message of it is worth what it's going to actually visually, um, auditorily and like narratively put you through. Um, so it, that's that's the thing. It does it, it it does what it does so incredibly well, and and it, it, you 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 genuinely might have some sort of epiphany from watching it. But, um, <laughs> you also might literally get so emotionally sick that you will not be able to watch the rest of it. Um, <laughs> so that's, I, I want to recommend it to people who, like, you know, like to under, you know, like to explore philosophical concepts. But if you're, you're, if you're a very emotional, sympathetic, empathetic, uh, very easily attached to characters in anime, it's not, it's not going to be a good time for you. you it's not. You, it's going to put you through literal emotional hell. Um, and I don't know if any epiphany, philosophical understanding is worth what it's actually going to put you through. I think there are tons of other anime uh, that explore similar concepts. <laughs> Without actually, um, without actually putting you through what it's going to put you through. I mean, I think this is the best anime for it because it, it doesn't, it doesn't pull any of the punches. It literally goes out of its way to portray a reality that's not, not, I mean, aside from like, you know, like there are monsters and shit in it, but like the actual human society aspect of it, it's not... It's not super unrealistic. It might be semi-simplified to a very nth degree, but it's it's not unrealistic, and that's the thing. It's it, it does portray humanity at its worst, um, in a very accurate and very very detailed way. But uh, it, it it literally, I I think it's worth a watch. But I also think if you have, like, normal human capacity emotions, it, it might, it might very well fuck you up. If you put any, any sort of emotional investment into it, um, or, or if you have any sort of expectations that anything good will happen at any point, it's, it's, it's literally, it's, it, it pushes some shit on you, um, okay, so... Here's um here's where I give you the the spoiler warning. Um uh, if you <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It, it, I I I am not sure honestly. Oh, it, it's such I'm I'm honestly amazed by this anime. Um it's very rare that I see something this good at what it does. Um I, I don't think it's some masterpiece, but I think I mean, overall, it's not some masterpiece, but I think what it does is incredibly, incredibly good. Um, and that's the horror and the gore and the nudity and all of it just showing the worst of the worst. Okay, so, spoilers. Here's where I'm going to, I guess, describe to you 
some of the scenes. Um, I guess a little bit more of the detail of some of the things. Um, I'll try not to spoil any scenes, but they're, they're I mean, towards the end, you're, you're, <laughs> it, it could fuck you up. Um, okay, so, <laughs> let me give you a little frame of reference for how, um, uncaring, unapologetic, um, unfeeling this series is towards pretty much everyone indiscriminately. Um, it kills off, um, so many characters, um, main, semi-main, and just random bystanders in incredibly gruesome and gratuitous ways. It, it, and that's what I'm saying with the, it follows through. Um, in this anime, there's, there are no ex machinas. There are no, oh, the, the hero is going to come in and save the day at the end. No, no, no. If you're coming into that with any, if you're coming into this anime with any sort of expectation at all, you, you will be blindsided. It, it's not going to treat you like it cares about what you feel for anything or anyone in it. It will kill off a character that you love for all it fucking cares, in an instant, in the most desecratingly, humiliatingly, uh, disrespectful way it can. Because it's, it, 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 in that way, it really does kind of... It, that's, that's why I'm saying it does kind of portray reality very, very well. Because it, a lot of the people in the anime do not... They don't get graceful deaths. In fact, they don't even... Even after their deaths... <laughs> they, they don't get... They don't get graceful burials. Like, there's... Uh, there's there's one point... <sighs> there's, there's, there's one point... Where it's just people... Throwing stones... At clothed and unclothed people... Because they've been tricked into thinking they're monsters. And they have these people tied to posts. And it shows it in graphic detail. It shows these people with their mob mentality just literally destroying these people with stones. And, I mean, it just goes into this whole dialogue. And it, it's... It's so... It, it, it's... It's very, very graphic. Very, very real. Um, in a sense. Um... And it, it it can fuck you up. Um, so I'm trying to think, cause there there's absolutely one, there's one scene, one one scene only that really really kind of fucked me up. Um, I mean, I guess it didn't really fuck me up, but like, it, it did make me feel. I'm not gonna lie, I I was not able to suppress all of my emotion for this scene. It literally, <laughs> it was just. So, um, I, I was not expecting it, like, I knew the character died, um, but I was not expecting just how over the top they were going to disrespect this, this person's corpse, the, the people that is, that, that killed this person. Um, it, it really, I'm not going to describe the scene, you'll have to see it, it's one of the very last episodes, and it's just... It really, it, it it did invoke emotions in me. It's like, wow, that's so disrespectful to do to a human being. I mean, it's, oh, it's just really is. It's not going to hold back on you. You're, you're, if you have emotions, you'll probably feel something at some point. Um, it, it, it it's not just there to shock you. The entire, all of the gore and nudity and shit like that, it's all there for narrative purpose. It does fit within the story, and it's all leading you. All of the gratuitous, unnecessary nudity and gore in the beginning, it's it's kind of strengthening you for what the hell's about to happen at the very, very, very end um, in the last few episodes. Um... I mean, I'll be honest. I I I saw Digi Bro's review on this, and um, I was like, "Wow, this sounds kind of cool." I I didn't expect it to be 
be this way. I, I, I expected gore and nudity and stuff. Um, and like, when I hear a dark twist and, you know, as a, the ending of an anime, it's like, oh, okay, but usually these things follow a formula and they just, they just do, like, gratuitous nudity and things and, and, and gratuitous gore and it's just, like, shock value. They, they don't, like, there's shock value, but it's very, very realistic shock value and it all, it's all part of the narrative. Like, everything that's a shock value... There's a greater, um, I guess you could say, commentary that it represents about humanity as a whole. Um, so I didn't, I didn't expect it to get so fucking real. Like I heard, like you know, oh, it's, it really gets fucking bad at the end, and it's really horrific and shit. I mean, even with like, cause it's it's a very limited style. Um, it, it's not very detailed. Um, in in in. Uh, uh, animation or an actual quality like there's not a whole lot of shading and shit but it uh it really <coughs> excuse me it, it it doesn't need it to be completely honest it it literally it, it doesn't have to go over the top with visuals to get its point across and um, emotionally impact you it's it's that real and that good at what it does um, now there are certainly some unrealistic scenes and shit, but I'm gonna leave that up for you to decide, um, realize on your own. But there's just so much that, I mean, it really does kind of play out. Uh, for an 11 episode anime, it does kind of play out. If this were the situation happening in the real world, it, it kind of seems like it's very possible this is the way humans would be, and this is the way it would play out. Um, it's, it, it's, it, it's some real shit. Um, so, that's, uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it. It's, it's, it's really good at what it does, what it focuses on. It, it, you know, it has its flaws, it's not perfect, just as all other animes are. But, I mean, for a 12, epi for an 11 episode anime, it, it probably is the best I've ever seen. For a t 11 episode anime, uh, as far as when it comes to, like, horror and, like, reality and gore and things like that. For a mature 11 episode anime, it's probably the best I've ever seen do it well. Um, so, that's really all it is. Um, I'm gonna stop there. I I'm gonna suggest you, you check it out under the guise that you can control your emotions because it it's going to fuck you up. There are going to be so many uncomfortable, disrespectful towards the characters, uh, both important and not important, that if you have normal capacity for emotions, will likely fuck you up. Um, so I'm going to recommend it if you have a very strong, non-faint heart, um, are cool with very disrespectful nudity, very disrespectful gore, um, unglorified, incredibly desecrating deaths and murders and shit. Um, and, uh, I mean, that I'm going to recommend it in that case, because it, it literally does explore a lot of the concepts it explores very, very well. Um, but, I mean, like I said, don't, don't go into it. Uh, don't, don't, don't go into it with some preconceived notion or some... Some I'm gonna get attached to these characters. Don't I'm telling you, it's gonna be a bad time if you have any sort of emotional investment in pretty much anything in this anime. Um, because it's gonna flip the tables so many fucking times. All right, so I'm gonna end it fucking there. Ah, oh, thanks for watching. Bye.